everybody and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We're going to make a delicious snack and treat for grown-ups and kids alike today. This one is a chocolate fudge that you can make with three simple ingredients you can buy at the supermarket or the health food store. So I've begun by using the 9200 blender. I've chosen this blender for the task because it's got the 35 second timer on it which is fantastic because you press one button to get the final result. I also like this jug because it's got six blades, four long blades, and two short little blades underneath. So I've popped into the jug one cup of macadamia nuts. These are raw macadamia nuts, and I'm gonna get started uh, by making them into a powder. And this is a technique that you need to use all of the time if you're using any of the optimum range of blenders um, as a food processor and food processing functions, like your bliss balls, your apricot bites, your chocolates, anything that's a thick, sticky mixture that doesn't have much liquid that you might have done in the past in a food processor, you want to take the hard ingredients, pulse them first until they're a fine dust and then add your soft sticky ingredients and you'll get a great result every time. So let's go. We only want to pulse because we don't want to over blend, especially with something like macadamia nuts which is nice and oily. You can actually keep blending to make your own nut butter and that's not what we want today. The next ingredient is one tablespoon of raw cacao. The raw cacao is delicious. Um, probably not on its own, a little bit bitter um, in that way. But not only is it delicious, it also uh, works with a substance called PEA in the body. Now PEA increases the serotonin in the brain, which means that chocolate really does make you happy. I'll pop the lid back on and pulse just a few times there as well. All right. And the last ingredient, we're adding one cup, I keep taking off the rotten lid there, we, keep, we uh, put one cup of dates into the blender jug. Now these are the medjool dates that you find in the fruit and veggie section of your supermarket or in your um, uh, health, uh, your uh, fruit and veggie store, but it's really important that you take out the pit before you pop them in, and when you're measuring dates for a recipe like this, make sure they're packed, so squash them into the cup. We'll throw in this spare one, just to make sure that the mixture is sticky enough. Lid firmly in place, you will need the tamper, and you'll need 35 seconds to blend this completely. Let's go. All done, quick and easy. Do use the full 35 seconds to make sure that the ingredients are completely blended and that the cacao is spread throughout the dates and you don't get little bumps of clots um, in there. This is great, you'll see it's a complete sticky mix, just similar to the apricot bites that you'll find here on the Fruity YouTube channel. Um, and we're gonna use exactly the same technique. A couple of old plastic takeaway containers lined with uh, a little bit of glad wrap will make this an easy one to serve up. So I'm going to pop that in front, here we go, and put half of the mixture into each of these plastic containers and then simply pop that straight into the fridge or freezer until it sets. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to set and then you can store it in the same place chopped up in nice little bite-sized pieces. So again this is a great recipe for kids who want a treat. It's also a great recipe um, if you've got guests and you want to have a little bit of something sweet afterwards, something for a cup of tea or even in your own lunchbox for work. So really good recipe to use. Now as you can see, this is a really sticky kind of mixture. It tastes really good. But a great way of getting this spread out nice and easily is to use a snack bag. Pop the snack bag over the tips of your fingers and instead of getting stuck to the mixture, claw around now, you can easily press the ingredients down nice and flat. So 
we're done. Two little containers of chocolate fudge. I'm going to pop them in the freezer and let them set. In about 10 minutes, they'll be ready to go. Keep them in the freezer for a couple of weeks quite easily, but if you're keeping them in the fridge, make sure you eat them within seven days. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure that you like the Fruity TV channel, and if you've got any requests for recipes that you'd like to see, pop them in the comments below. Ciao for now.